Hi everyone, I'm Marissa Sarbach. Welcome to The Buzz, Newsday's weekly series covering the hottest trends in music, fashion, television, and so much more. Our guest today is a young fashion designer, an entrepreneur, and an influencer. Danielle Bernstein started We Wore What, a fashion brand with 2.5 million followers on Instagram and partnerships with massive retailers like Macy's. The Long Island native is joining us now to talk all about her fashion empire. Hi Danielle, thanks so much for joining us. Hi, how are you? Doing very well, thank you. So I know We Were What started back in 2010 while you were at school at FIT. Why did you originally want to start this, originally as a blog showcasing the street style in New York City? Yeah, so exactly that. I had just transferred from the University of Wisconsin-Madison to FIT, and I wanted to provide my friends that weren't in New York City surrounded by such amazing street style every day with that daily source of outfit inspiration that I was seeing every day. So I picked up a camera, taught myself how to use it, and started We Were What as a street style blog, which slowly after transitioned to personal style. Yeah, it is interesting how many young people, young women especially, have such an interest in New York City street fashion. I know people certainly look to the city for a lot of inspiration really all over the world. So were you just walking up to really fashionable women in the city asking to take their picture? Exactly. <laughs> I had my camera and a recorder, and so I asked girls to take their photos and then whipped out my recorder and asked them what they were wearing. Later that night or sometimes during classes, I would then research everything they were wearing and find links to similar items. And of course, Instagram launched the same year that you started. So did that platform really give you the space that you needed before it was saturated with fashion content, which is what I feel like we see today? Of course, yeah. I think it was the product of organic growth and really great timing. I started my, my business basically when Instagram had first started. So I was on the platform really early and really transitioned my blog that was online into an Instagram business. When did you feel like the blog really took off? How big was the following before you realized this is this is huge? Uh, when I hit a million followers, that was really a pivotal moment in my career. And, um, you know, different things happen along the way, like getting on Forbes 30 under 30 list at the age of 24. That was one of my career goals. And then, you know, this past year becoming a New York Times bestselling author. And I feel like the entrepreneur in you really came out along the way of this blog. You started designing your own clothes, like you said, and you turned We Wore What into its own brand. Was this always the plan, even when you were at FIT? Did you always imagine it would end up like this? No, I actually never imagined that I would become a designer. I think I have grown such a large platform that it only made sense to start selling my own products one day. And so it started very niche with a line of overalls. I, I saw space in the market that I knew I could fill and then slowly transitioned to swim and denim and activewear and new categories to come soon. And there's no doubt influencers have really changed the fashion industry. Uh, so many industries actually, I think. But how deep do you think the impact is from influencers on the fashion industry in particular? Yeah, you know, influencers are the most modern form of advertising. So whereas you pay for a billboard in Times Square, if you're somebody looking to advertise, if you pay an influencer to post, you know that you're reaching a very specific demographic of consumers and you know that your advertising dollars are going to a place where you're going to see a return on your sales. Do you have a favorite influencer to collaborate with or another designer you love working with? I have so many amazing partners. It would be hard to choose just one, but you know, I've been really fortunate over the years to work with everyone from major retailers to small up and coming businesses. Anybody in the future we can see you working with or anybody you'd be excited to work with in the future? I, I have some great projects in the works, but you know, I really am focusing on building my own brands now and that will remain a focus for the next few years. I know you work with a lot of major department stores as well, Macy's in particular. Your latest collection is out there now. So how far in advance do you start planning these collections? And really take us through that process. How long does it take before it gets released to the public? Yeah, you know, a lot of people don't know, but we design almost a year and a half in advance of when the collection actually comes out. So by the time it comes out, I have already been seeing it for the past <laughs> year and a half, and I'm almost already sick of it because, you know, <laughs> It's just getting exposed to the public, but there's so much planning that goes into the production and it's so such a long timeline before it actually comes to fruition. So it really is so satisfying to see. And I like to walk my followers through that process so that they feel more attached to the products that I put out there. Yeah, it's nice that you give the behind the scenes look too, because I think you're so right. Shoppers don't realize how long it takes for designers to get that product out on the shelves for them. I know those spring collections are all important for designers like yourself. So what trends do you expect we'll be seeing in the spring? 
Trends for the spring. I mean, it, it all depends, but a, an update on athleisure wear and this sort of like elevated loungewear is really important, especially during the pandemic. So I think you'll see a lot of that. And then, you know, my, my next swim collection is coming out. I'm going to reveal the theme soon. So you'll just have to wait and see. <laughs> I know you also wrote a book very recently that got released. This is not a fashion story. I want you to talk to us about your journey really here, becoming a businesswoman and what made you want to document it? Yeah, so I think, you know, growing up basically in front of the camera for the past 10 years, people kind of thought they knew what my life was like and what I was all about, but there's so much that I hadn't shared. And so this book was my chance to put it all out there to really show the side of me that is not fashion, hence the title of the book. And so, you know, it walks you through my childhood, my parents getting divorced, me losing my virginity, like all my dating experiences. It really gives you the inside look at how I grew up to be the woman I am today and really how I built my career. So you get a really good mix of personal and business and it's really a coming of age, you know, New York City, young hustler story. And Danielle, I know during COVID, you've been helping a lot of small businesses, entrepreneurs get started. Can you talk to us about what you've been able to do for them lately? Yeah, so We Gave What is one of my biggest passion projects in my career. It is the charitable arm of We Wore What. And you know the concept is that we all have something to give. And so We Gave What serves as the middleman between small businesses and organizations and a larger community. So we've helped keep dozens of businesses afloat by just giving them that exposure that my platform has. And you know through these really creative initiatives have raised hundreds of thousands of dollars for different organizations and have really helped make an impact. Influencer, fashion designer, and CEO of We Wore What. Danielle Bernstein, thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much. Have a good day. You too. For more on Danielle Bernstein and other Buzz guests, head on over to Newsday.com slash The Buzz. Be sure to check out Danielle's latest book, This Is Not a Fashion Story, out right now. And you can also follow along on Instagram to see her latest looks at We Wore What. Thanks so much for joining us today on Newsday's The Buzz. Till next time, I'm Marissa Sarbach.